If you've got a saw with small teeth, here's a tip you might find helpful. I buy my files loose, and this saves a bit of money because you can buy them with some really nice handles on. And when they turn up, I just put on a cheap wooden block, bit of scrap, this gives me control, and it stops the tang of the file, any risk of it being jabbed into my wrist. But you can go a stage further. If you're learning and you want a bit more control, you can turn your file handle into something that's the same section as your file. And what that allows you to do is get some real control for how you're creating the rake on each tooth as you go, whether it's rip or cross cut, because sometimes maybe you haven't got the same control on your fingers as you used to, but if you can hold it here consistently, you can really get a real idea of how much rake you're getting on those teeth as they're working through. Good idea if you're beginning, might not need it in the long term, Hope you found it helpful.